Hello, hello, my good students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the American naval forces around Guadalcanal. Progress has been rather steady, actually, as we've been uh, invading islands left, right and centre, taking over uh, Buna rather easily, and now actually landing on Guadalcanal, which should tick over fairly decent as well. So long as we keep enemy merchant shipping away from there, we should get it within the next couple of days or so. Which is excellent stuff, if you ask me. Very much looking forward to taking that. But you know what I'm looking forward to even more? Finding some ruddy bloody enemies to fight. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? You know, <laughs> it's, uh, the previous episode was rather quiet, unfortunately. I want some spicy, spicy action now. Um, not, not so much that we lose ships, but you know, <laughs> not to make us look stupid or anything. But I, li I like, I like to see some, uh, uh, some enemy shipping to uh, shoot at. It'd be great stuff, wouldn't it? Maybe we can hit those carrier groups or something. Um, before we start, though, I would like to uh, ask a question to all of you lovely, lovely people. Um, how interested would you be in seeing a uh, War on the Sea live stream on Twitch from me? Um, Twitch is uh, something I've been trying to get into a little bit more recently. I've been uh, playing a few games with my good friend, uh, YouTuber Clan of Dunleeb. Um, you can check his channel out on um, twitch.tv slash uh, Clan of Dunleeb. Um, just going to hit a shameless plug there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, honest question. Um, I'm not too sure how it would be to watch uh, War on the Sea live. That's why I'm asking uh, for your thoughts and opinions. If you're not too bothered, fair enough. Nothing's changed. But uh, if you do want to see it, I'm absolutely all for it. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. And while you're thinking, let's go straight to the strategic map and have a look at our uh, situations, shall we? Alrighty then, so our situations are actually not looking too bad. Uh, because we've just loaded in the game, we can now see these uh, submarines over here. And uh, because of um, the new update, uh, it now has a sort of fog of war type of uh, thing to it. When if you can see an enemy task force, it will tell you um, not exactly what it's got in it, but it will tell you maybe there's one submarine there, maybe there's not. Possibly how many ships there are. Um... Yeah, and um, what sort of speed they're going, which is rather nice. It uh, means you've got to do some uh, more reconning and does encourage you to actually go into the tactical map with your scouts uh, once you have seen something, which is rather interesting. But we can see these submarines over here. We do have our flying fortresses over this submarine, but that's a complete waste of 12 um, fortresses. I think we're sending them straight to the carrier group, aren't we? Which I think is probably the best idea. We do also have some Catalinas and Mitchells going over to the uh, the Carrier Task Force. Hopefully we'll be able to get all of these in one position and strike simultaneously because uh, how we ended the last episode was obviously not an ideal attack, but I was just so hungry for the opportunity that uh, we need to throw caution to the wind and just try our luck at everything. What exactly is the progress on Guadalcanal? We're slightly undersupplied, but we do have enough troops and such to uh, take that. I think if we can, we should bring some supplies perhaps over for from uh, Rennell Island just to uh, tip us over a little bit, just to help them out a bit. I think that's what we're going to do with uh, this uh, group here. Let's go over there and do that. We do have our Task Force 8 coming back over as well with supplies and troops, so we can do that as well. Um, they might just be in time to help that fight. We'll see, but it was certainly needed. And, of course, we are now bringing some oilers over and some more supplies and engineering to Rennell Island to get that up to a level 3 uh, port in good time. So that is lovely stuff. So what we're going to do first is try and launch some bombs on this uh, summary. It says there's three. Um, interesting stuff. Interesting. Uh, what we're going to do then, mm, don't have a lot to choose from here. Interesting. Um, well, this is a level four. Oh, that's very strange we don't have a lot there maybe that needs to uh, tick over a bit give that some time uh, because I did make the mistake of taking all of our troops off of there <laughs> previously <laughs> um, that's not a problem uh, let's take these Beauforts I think at least try and hit one of these if we can and go straight over but we've not lost anything if we miss it let's get some uh, scouting off although we do only have about 20 minutes left of air time so this could be rather tight um, of course, we haven't exactly taken Boone yet, but it's not a problem. Uh, we're going to launch some lightnings. We're going to launch it with sat bombs just to see what we can hit over here. We could try and go straight for these destroyers or single destroyer. But first, I want to try and get some sort of scouting off. Uh, just a straight line like that will do fine. Um, let's get some Kissy Hawks out just to uh, give them a bit of covering and to uh, give some close range scousing. 
like so, and that would do very nicely. Um, we're going to launch some scouts if we can off of our task force here. Um, looking at completely the wrong ships, let's go to launch aircraft and just a couple of kingfishers off will do lovely. Let's scouts behind us and see um, how that's going. Uh, I haven't played this for about a week or so, so a tab rusty now. Uh, forgetting exactly <laughs> um, the endurance is off the top of my head. Not a problem though, just minor complaints. So let's keep going. And I think that would do for now. I'll see you in a second when we have a situation report for you. Okay, so on the way of trying to make our way to uh, Guadalcanal with our main invasion force, we have been stopped by a surprise, yep, there we go, a submarine task force, quite likely the one we spotted on the map. Um, it has engaged us, so we're just going to pause very quickly and take manual control over this. Um, I do, of course, not want to lose anything here. That would be rather a shame if we did. So we're going to break here and slow our speeds down, do tight turns out. Uh, Benham can do the same, although I want to actually... Uh, no, let's uh, carry on with this sort of course. Atlanta can break, increase speed to max and actually, of course, turn in. And the rest of the crews can do the same, of course, as well. Hopefully we should be fine. This should be fairly clean. My only problem is that it is night time and we're going to have re completely reduced visibility. What exactly is the visibility? Yes, 33%. Okay, not, well, not ideal, of course. And those torpedoes are rather, rather numerous, aren't they? Let's actually turn in with the uh, summers here. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, okay, lovely stuff. Um, hmm... Yeah, let's keep going straight here with the Summers, I think. We have come just over it with the Warrington. Excellent stuff. That can turn around and go in like that. Uh, we're going to reduce our speed by quite a lot, of course. And it is the Summers, I think, that is in the most danger, actually. So what we're going to do is turn around with uh, the Benham here. Turn in like that and keep the uh, cruisers at this. I think... Uh, now that you're going straight away from them, just get them on a straight course like that and the torpedoes should not be a bother and they won't turn around back into them. So let's look at the summers. That looks like it's uh, under the most threat, I think. If we increase our speed to max and turn around back into them like this, we should be okay. And then the summers could actually take con uh, control of uh, getting rid of the uh, submarine, I think. Yeah, we're looking good there. Benham, actually I want you to increase your speed as well. That's not looking great at all there. And just go straight forwards, please. Warrington, actually if you just turn down completely and keep a sonar contact with the enemy there. This is getting very close actually. We're going to have to turn in with the uh, Benham. And I wish it would turn... <laughs> really wish it would just go full speed as soon as it could, please. That would be great stuff. Uh, I'm going to get these summers to turn into the uh, enemy there as well and reduce its speed. Benham, how are you looking? Oh, just going to miss that. I don't know if you can see on your screen there, but the final torpedoes on this sort of line. Uh, we are now in a good position to stop and attack the enemy. Excellent stuff. So, Warrington, yep, you've stopped. Excellent. Summers, turn around completely. We're going to get... Um, just going to assume there is just the one submarine. So, we're going to get everyone else to stop, I think. Uh, if I can get that on zero exactly, that would be great. A uh, little fiddly there. You do have to use the keys sometimes to get the minor adjustments done. But so I think we're all safe now. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. First blood today will be ours. <laughs> Let's go and take this on, shall we? Okay, so we've caught up to the enemy submarine with the Summers here. And I don't know if you can see. Let's get rid of the HUD for you there. The uh, Because it's dark, very, very poor visibility even underwater here, but it is just there if you can see. So we're going to try and overtake it a little bit. Let's bring up the HUD again and increase our speed because it does seem to be getting some decent speed off. Um, we do have 70% possible speed on us. Um, saying that the uh, Summers is critically damaged, we do have less than 100% integrity on everything, but still not the worst so uh absolute bollocks that it's in critical condition we have lost torpedo and a funnel but that's about it um in the meantime though in the present let's try and dump some depth charges onto the submarine
And there we go. Easy as that. We are certainly going to be able to make uh, our way to Guadalcanal with some supplies uh, under cover of night. That's going to take us four and a half hours. So just inside the cusp there. We should make it right on about five o'clock, I reckon. So absolutely great stuff. I'm a little bit salty that we didn't get any command points, but uh, I don't know. That's just how this goes sometimes, unfortunately. So let's ruddy bloody go. Alrighty then, so we've just uh, come into the daytime hours and we have dropped some supplies onto Guadalcanal. Not it's made a huge difference, we are still undersupplied, but it has helped us uh, through the burn race a little bit. But, of course, what is the big problem here is that we have a possible six ships available. The enemy has finally come to us, so it's quite likely they're going to land some troops or even bombard uh, Milne Bay. So... What we're going to do is get from Port Moresby, we're going to get eight lightnings. They're going to carry, I think, um, hmm. I think we're going to carry six sap bombs, actually. Actually, no, do we want, uh, how much uh, endurance would this give us? What's the distance there? Uh, we're not quite going to make it there, I don't think. That is unfortunate. So, yeah, let's go for six sap bombs and try some uh, some uh, some uh, bouncing bombing. Let's try that, shall we? Some skip bombing is the real word for it. <laughs> uh, and see what else we can do, actually. Uh, let's launch some Mitchells off as well, actually. That would be great stuff, we could do that. Um, do we want some light bombs? Uh, possibly not. Can you imagine skip bombing all of those 12 bombs? <laughs> that would be brilliant stuff. Um, no, uh, jump straight back at us. So let's go for the two uh, AP bombs uh, like that, and they can possibly level bomb if they can. So let's go straight over there and see how that goes. We do, of course, have uh, a minor air engagement from our task force over here. So what we're going to do is, of course, sort that out and see what's happening there. Hello there. What are you? Oh, right on our backs there. And it's, of course, some Toryus. Oh, lovely stuff. That is a huge force there. Let's just pause and have a quick look. Yeah, Toryus, Nails, Donryus. Great stuff. Um, so these are armed with torpedoes. What are the... These would be bombs, won't they, on the uh, Donryus. Yeah, of course, they'll have to open their bomb bay doors there. Okay, so what we're going to do is <laughs> instantly break speed up. Turn in like that with New Orleans. I think break um, with this and turn in as well like that with the Atlanta can go out and actually turn to the port side there and we'll leave our destroyers for this minute and see what they do I would hate to lose this Atlanta but it's quite I don't know the nails are gonna have to uh, reduce their altitude by quite a lot so they'll spend quite a long time in our flak fire um, if possible actually I'm gonna tell this to uh, fire on the uh, uh, could stop firing at will. I'd love you to fire on these ones over here. What have we got over here? Is that a gecko? No, okay. Looks like they're more interested in our scouts at the moment. It's not too much of a problem. The nails are flying right over us. They should lose all that. Lovely stuff. Uh, have they dropped? Not just yet. So they're likely going for a Benham or some sort of destroyer. Not attack. I want you to break. Speed up. Turn to port, please. You as well, Summers. Increase speed. Turn round. Thank you very much. And you can increase your speed and turn out like that. What do they lose? Some aircraft, of course. What sort? Do not know. So it looks like they lost a Donryu. And did they lose a nail, perhaps? It looks like it. Lovely stuff. They're certainly coming around for our um, cruisers here. But they're spending so much time in our AA fire. I'm not too bothered there. Should be all right. But I am going to tell, I think, Brooklyn to turn out like that. Or at least stay on its uh, uh, on its course there. Um, Atlanta, I think, can go straight into them, and I think we're okay like that, and that would be great stuff. We'll keep the um, keep the destroyers out on straight lines like that for now, I think. Uh, it is the nails I'm most worried about. And it does like they're going for the Atlanta, so we're going to have to uh, turn in like that. Uh, New Orleans can carry on like that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, keep committing to this turn, please, Atlanta. It looks like they're going to drop. There we go. They have dropped, so we can carry on on this course. And that'll be just fine, I think. We'll try and shoot these down. Once we've uh, dodged the torpedoes, we'll come straight out. Lovely stuff. <laughs> that was a surprise, but it went fairly well. I'll take that. We did lose a Kingfisher. Did we lose a second one? No, that's absolutely fine. We are going to have to go back to the New Hebrides uh, soon, I think, anyway. In fact, I think we'll make it the, that the uh, the mission of our task force here now is to resupply. So we've shot those down, dodged the torpedoes get out. They lost five out of nine, which is great stuff. So let's go back to the map. And with that said, let's carry on and I will uh, see you in a second. 
Alrighty then, so we have finally come into contact with our Lightnings and our Mitchells. Shall we take a look at what this task force actually is before we decide to strike? Okay, so we've got a Miyoko, lovely stuff. Obviously some sort of destroyer here. That's a Yugamo or a... Uh, 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 what do you fucking call it? Say <laughs> Yugamo or a Kagero. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, that... Looks like a Kuma. Looks like a Kuma to me. Or a Nagara, lovely stuff. Okay, so I think what we're going to go for is um, they need a heavy cruiser to bombard, so we could hit that, I think, with... <sighs> Should we try with the Mitchells? That's probably the best target for the Mitchells. Um, we were armed with a couple bombs. We could try and skip bomb it, but I'm not too keen on that idea. What we're going to do is identify it just to... Uh, actually, so I'd go for the cruisers and identify them shall we so let's go over here with Miyoko like that and it's just identify it so it's a little more visual on the map for us is all we're doing let's go to uh, heavy cruisers uh, it's not a foot attack or Alba it is Miyoko you can tell it's Miyoko and not a Takao because um, the Takao has the uh, greater like slanted plate on the bridge here whereas Miyoko is quite slim and has a straight plate on the command there which is lovely stuff now the difficulty will be actually be uh, going and identifying this light cruiser here it could either be a Kuma or it could be a Nagara. What should we go for? It's certainly not Tenryu. Um, ooh, okay, that's a Sendai, that's a Kuma. Let's just say uh, Kuma, because we bloody love Kumas. Um, let's go for that, shall we? So, what we're going to go go for is... Um, so we're going to bring our lightnings round, so they don't have to go straight through the, uh, the path of the AA there. We're going to form up our Mitchells a little better. Let's go for, I think, line ahead like that. And they can go for the Miyoko there. So Lightnings can come round. Uh, I think we're going to go on just like that. Thank you very much. There we go. Reduce your altitude, please. So I think 40 meters above the water as if we're dropping torpedoes. And actually going to make sure they line up in a Vic formation like that does look like they're in a decent position like that already but let's just double check these can go to 40 meters as well and they're going to come from the same side i think like that lovely stuff lovely stuff i'll see you when uh, we are in position Alrighty then, so we're trying to line this up on the Miyoko, we're nearly there, our course is a little off, it's going to be a tad difficult, we are going for the mangle drop, we are just about on the line there, so let's go I think like that, all of our bombs dropping, lovely stuff, okay let's increase our speed and get out of there, thank you very much, now where is that Miyoko, come on guys, you've got to hit this, that'd be great, oh, oh one hit, Oh no, it was a big hit though, so I'll take that. <laughs> How are our lightnings doing? Okay, looks like we're in range here actually. So let's uh, target this. Don't need uh, bomb bay doors open, there are only lightnings, lovely stuff. Let's reduce our speed a little bit actually. Uh, we've not uh, kept an eye on this, we have tunnel visioned a little bit there. But these lightnings are actually uh, coming in at a decent angle as well. So they might actually go for the uh, Miyoko as well, depending on how we hit the uh, Kuma here. So let's go in like this. Come on, we've practiced against destroyers and oilers. We've got this now. <laughs> Just need a decent lead over here. I think that's going to be decent. Just turn it a little bit more, actually, like that. Lovely stuff. Okay, come on, guys. We've got this. Just a little closer. Just a little closer. And let's just make sure we've got all of them under control. And drop. No, drop, please. There we go. Ah, it's not going to hit. Oh, you know what? We fluffed it <laughs> successfully. <laughs> let's increase our altitude and guess out. Um, let's go over to uh, the... Actually, let's go for an action report, actually. Let's go up, straight out. We lost to Mitchell, not a bother. Uh, let's take an action report. Uh, critical on the Kuma. You know what? I'm going to go for the Miyoko again with this. Let's ruddy bloody go. Uh, what sort of angle are we on? Not ideal, so we're going to have to go all the way around, not a problem. Let's go, uh, let's increase our speed, take all of those. Yeah, accidentally press the actual attack button there rather than drop bombs. <laughs> but it's okay, we hit it and actually quite flush, which is lovely stuff. Okay, so we're going to reduce our speed and start to turn in now, I think. 
This is looking pretty decent, actually. Let's guess our mouse over the right button this time, eh? That'd be useful, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's ruddy bloody go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's decent. It's basically dead in the water. All right, and drop. Alrighty then, I'm actually quite happy with that. That's pretty decent if you ask me. Uh, what we're going to do is, of course, increase our altitude and I forgot to form these back up. So we're going to form up like that, uh, turn around a bit. And if we're feeling rather spicy, what we could do is actually hit those destroyers with a strafing run. And you know what? Let's get our altitude decent like that and you know what that's not a bad idea let's try that shall we let's get that altitude up again turn around wait for those to form up uh we did hit that miyoko rather flush as well actually it didn't quite look it's on the screen but uh, we've got two duds otherwise look at all of those bombs on that on the list there lovely stuff let's take an action report uh oh it's in heavy rather than critical but okay that's fine it is rather rather smitten now we have <laughs> smited it rather hard <laughs> Lovely stuff there. It is basically dead in the water as well. We'll wait for this to burn down, I think. I would love to see some fire spread, but the wind speed is not huge, and the sea state is, of course, rather calm. So um, not too likely it goes down there. Would have liked to have got another Mitchell bomb hit on the Miyoko, but you can't have everything. I'm just glad we hit it at all, to be honest. So we'll wait for that to go around and see what happens. Okay, so we did leave all of that in a critical condition there. The Miyoko in critical and the Kuma in critical, which is brilliant stuff, if you ask me. Very nice little strike. We will have to send something to finish them off, though, because they are very, very close to Milne Bay. And I have the feeling we're not going to be able to stand against that, unfortunately. So what can we launch off of here to fight that? We might be able to get some Catalinas or bow fighters off. Um, you know what? Why don't we try some bow fighters with torpedoes? I think they will, um, just because there's more of them, and they might be able to stand up against AA a little bit better than Catalina. So let's try that and see how that goes. Alrighty, and we are, of course, right on top of them. So let's reduce our altitude and go straight in there. Uh, I think we're going to have to turn around a little bit. Uh, are they spotted on the map? Yes, they are. I think we want to go for the Miyoko, of course. So let's try and get that. Uh, we're going to yeah turn around, I think. And uh, just come in very gently. Very, very gently. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh, this is what we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, the time to strike back. <laughs> you know what? Let's do this manually as well. I'm fed up of having too great a lead on our torpedoes. If we miss, it's up to me, not the AI. <laughs> um, it's looking like a decent source of attack pattern here, actually. I'm really liking this. So we're going to focus, of course, on the center plane and see how that works, shall we? Let's just make sure we've got everyone under control there. And, yeah, lovely stuff. This is looking like a very nice system line. Give us a little bit more lead, I think. I uh, will need time for the torpedoes to arm, of course. So let's go straight in. We, I think we're going a little bit too quickly there. So let's reduce our speed down quite a bit like that. And we'll have to watch that. But that should be okay. Yeah, that will do very nicely. That will do very nicely. So let's drop. Yeah, come on, come on. That's looking very nice. Let's increase our speed and altitude like that. See how this goes. They've armed. Very decent lead, I think. Probably could have given us a little bit more, but it should hit rather rather central. Midships be great. Come on, guys. Oh, no duds, please. Lovely stuff. One hit. Ah, oh, dud. Oh, no. <laughs> should have definitely give him more lead there, then. Not a problem. We'll wait for that to tick over and see if anything happens. Let's take a report. Critical damage, moderate flooding. Probably won't sink it, then. That is a shame. But uh, we'll wait around and see what happens. Uh, 
And with that, I think we're going to try launching one more cheeky attack on them. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Let's go for some, I think, some bombs from some Beauforts. What sort of distance could we get off of there? That's definitely within range, isn't it? Yeah, easily make that. So one uh, 1,000 pound bomb and a couple of sap bombs would be great. Just to possibly sink that Miyoko. Let's have a look. They were retreating, so might not catch them in that time, but we can only hope, I suppose. Do have five ships over here of perhaps a destroyer thing. So what we're going to do is just launch some lightnings with some uh, rockets as well. Not necessarily to sink anything, but some uh, aggressive scousing, I think, is the way to say it, <laughs> the way to put it. So let's have a look there and see what happens. Alrighty then, so we've uh, intercepted this destroyer task force with our lightnings. Going to have a look at what exactly to attack. Does like a Fubuki uh, in the middle there. Um, perhaps a Mutski on the flank there. Uh, nothing too big. And it looks like perhaps a Minikaze or something of that description on the end there. So I think what we're going to go for is uh, the Fubuki. It is the uh, more, uh, more uh, in demand uh, destroyer there. Probably the best one to hit. So let's go for that um, and just tell them to attack, I suppose. Let's go for it. Lovely stuff. <laughs> I do like rocket attacks, actually. If they hit quite well, they will rip apart a destroyer. Oh, it's so, so good. I do love the use of lightnings. This mod is amazing for uh, for uh, some float planes and uh, the use of ports and airfields. So, so good. Um, lightning is a real saving grace for this campaign as well. But enough of that uh, dribble. Let's, <laughs> let's get into the cinematic mode. Alrighty then, so we did lose one lightning on that attack, which is rather a shame, but I think we can tell this lot to form up again and actually go back in for a strafing run. I think it'd be a decent idea. Did get a few decent hits on the Fubuki here, some rather central hits as well with a decent fire on it. It's on heavy damage now. So uh, yeah, let's go straight back in and see if we get a nice strafing run off of there. That'd be great stuff. Nah, we weren't bloody able to sink that either. That is rather a shame as well, uh, but it's not a problem. I uh, didn't really want to risk losing all of the lightnings there. So what I'm going to do now is just use the rest of their endurance to, uh, to scout out around here and try and keep eyes on anything out there. We are still chasing these ships with our bow foot, so let's try and have a look at that. We do only have 343 endurance left. That should be enough to get them. Um, so let's see if that does. And you know what? We did actually uh, come into contact with this again. So while they're retreating, let's give them the message that they definitely do need to retreat. Um, you know what? Um, uh, should we skip bomb this? Yeah, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Um, we're going to come round then with everyone like this and go for the number two. Let's tell them to reduce their altitude there. I was considering actually going for... Um, a different approach and just uh, level bombing them but from a from a uh, lower altitude let's say they're bloody hell difficult for me to speak today ladies and gentlemen <laughs> but then again what's new there uh, let's make sure all of our bombay doors are open like that lovely stuff and let's compress time just to get into range there and I will see you in a second when we're ready to drop and that time is looking like now. You know what, I'm going to be rather cheeky and actually try and go for that Kuma with these two. Um, just so we don't have to take so much time in their uh, AA range. And try and increase our speed just a little bit here. And then we'll slow back down again for our skip bombing, I think. Uh, actually, you know, we should be able to uh, skip bomb at this sort of speed. Should be okay there. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. It's going to be a harder target because it's not at a good angle there. I'm just going to slow these lot down as well. So we've got more time to play around with this group. And let's go straight in like that. Get a decent line off, please. Thank you very much. Carry on like that. And... Drop. There we go. Lovely stuff. Altitude. Nah, no, fluff that. No, we didn't. 
Oh, lovely hit there. Could not have asked it better. They all hit. That will do for me there. Let's go straight over to this lot and turn round. Oh, very happy with that. Probably won't sink the Kuma. Actually, let's take a, uh, a report. Uh, maybe not. You never know. But uh, it's nice to just uh, share, spread the love, as they say, you know. And uh, <laughs> in time for Valentine's Day coming up, surely. <laughs> oh, surprise presents are always the best, aren't they, guys? <laughs> the ones you don't ask for. <laughs> But that's what you're going to get. <laughs> Let's go straight at this. It looks like we don't need to give this much lead at all, to be honest. It's pretty much dead in the water. Let's just line this up a little better, like that, I think. Uh, we're going to increase our speed a little bit. And I think it'd be good to drop here. Yeah, let's do that. Increase altitude. Thank you very much. We are bouncing. Lovely stuff. Please don't bounce over. Oh, just a little bit, actually. Just a little bit. If we got one more bounce, maybe it would have gone straight over to the Kuma here. <laughs> but, you know what? A successful live test, you know? <laughs> You're getting some decent fires on the Miyoko here, and that might finally go down. So on critical and critical, I think if we wait around, and of course not strafe it, because we do not have the greatest... Uh, um, firepower on our fronts there. What we're going to do is circle round, stay in contact with that and uh, see what happens I think. Hopefully it will go down to fires and floods and hopefully the Kuma will. There we go! Number two sinking. Lovely stuff. We did get it down ladies and gentlemen. Today has been a success. A bit of a shame about the Kuma here but uh, I will happily take one uh, Miyoko Heavy Cruiser. That is a massive asset taken away from them and a very successful day. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> but wait, this one's fire's getting a little worse. I think we're going to hang around for this a little bit. And there we go. We did actually sink the Miyoko, as you saw, but we did not manage to sink the Kuma, which is a bit of a problem, but it's okay. They're retreating. Not a problem now. They didn't actually land anything on Milne Bay, so a very successful defence there, if you ask me. Um, and we did actually get two command points off of that, which uh, is <laughs> a bit of a, a bit of a gift sent from the RNG gods there so far. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, I do think that is all we have time for today, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, please leave your comments in the section below and perhaps leave any thoughts you have on a possible Twitch stream of this game. Um, but if you don't want to, not a problem. Nothing's changed. We can go with it. Lovely stuff. So, um, again, thank you very much for watching. I have been the Edify Gamer, and I hope all your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.